If that's Can you... you. Oh, 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 shut up! From UFO sightings to cattle mutilations, a ranch in the Uinta Basin has been home to numerous bizarre and terrifying events. Tonight, we're in the deep darkness of Skinwalker Valley in search of one of the most evil entities known to man, the Skinwalker. <laughs> we are way out in the middle of the desert. We have no cell service, no way to call for help. Oh, what was that? This is a ritual to something. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Oh, what dude. the hell is that? Dude. Something just tried to sneak up on us from behind. Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, oh. Oh, look, the, 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 the red one, the red one. Which way? Which way? Oh. Just got really f***ing creepy. Which way? Come here, quick. Which way? Oh. Oh. oh, my God, it came out of the bush again. Look at oh. the thing, dude. It's on all oh. fours, crawling around. Oh. Honestly, there's one in this bush. Warning, the following film contains multiple audible mentions of the demonic being known as the Skinwalker. It is believed that even hearing the word Skinwalker may invite one of the creatures into your home and into your life. If you are watching this film in a wooded area or are currently near a forest or desert, it is recommended that you either turn it off or lock all doors and windows before proceeding. Don't say I didn't warn you. Tonight, we're in the deep darkness of Skinwalker Valley in search of one of the most evil entities known to man, the Skinwalker. We're standing right now in a historic part of this property filled with mystery, and we're the first people to ever be allowed to film right here. Welcome to the Paranormal Files. Colin and I are driving right now to Skinwalker Ranch. It was early in the day, and we were headed to an infamous ranch that borders the notorious Skinwalker Ranch. As we drove out from Salt Lake City to the area, the terrain changed. It got darker, more isolated. It felt like a skinwalker could be hanging out in any of these abandoned homes that littered the landscape. It's a place of mystery, a place of darkness. And as you're about to see, this place is definitely not one to mess around with. The Uinta Basin is one of the strangest, scariest, and most mysterious regions in all of America. Known colloquially as UFO Alley, this portion of Utah is home to one of the highest concentrations of UFO sightings in the entire United States. The things people see in the sky in this area are crazy. UFOs, massive fireballs, bright, unexplainable flashes of light, starships, zigzagging spacecrafts, and huge phantom orbs are just some of the things regularly seen in the skies here. In addition, a large number of people have been abducted by aliens in this region. One local filmmaker in the 90s was even quoted as saying, you can't throw a rock in southern Utah without hitting somebody who's been abducted. One of the earliest reports of a UFO sighting in this area took place in the year 1776. When Franciscan missionary Silvestri Velez de Escalante wrote about strange fireballs appearing over his campsite in nearby El Rey, it's safe to say that this area is no stranger to high strangeness. But Skinwalker Ranch and the nearby Mesa and the ranches surrounding it is a whole different story. In these areas, all sorts of bizarre things have been seen and encountered by those who have lived there and those who have visited. Cattle mutilations are regular in this area. Ranchers will wake up and find cows from their herds skinned, their eyeballs punctured or removed with surgical precision, and there will be no blood in the immediate area. This type of mutilation would be nearly impossible without advanced technology that doesn't yet exist, and how these mutilations in the area occur is still a mystery. Then there are the large crop circles that regularly appear in the grasslands and fields in the area. Large circles and patterns only visible from above, with, once again, no explanation. Humanoid figures and spirits also haunt the area. Multiple researchers and property owners have seen large, unexplainable figures stalking the darkness in and around Skinwalker Ranch. One team of scientists observed a tall figure staring at them from up in a tree with piercing yellow eyes. In another instance, the man who owned Skinwalker Ranch opened fire on a grotesquely large wolf as it attacked one of his cattle. After shooting the wolf three times with a high-caliber rifle at close range, the wolf retreated, but strangely, it left no blood trail. After tracking the wolf's footprints for a while, the man discovered that the track simply ended, as if the animal had vanished into thin air. Others have seen Bigfoot-like bipedal creatures walking throughout the woods and desert area in and around the Skinwalker Ranch. Neighbors have reported seeing a large hyena-like creature running around their property with bushy red hair and long, sharp claws. Sightings of gigantic, disfigured wolves are also common in the area, and both dogs and cattle have disappeared into thin air on the ranch, never to be found again. Then we get to the Skinwalkers. According to some, the basis of the Skinwalker legend actually began right here, possibly in this very area. 
In the mid to late 1800s, the Ute tribe, an indigenous tribe based in northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, and eastern Utah, were entangled in a deep territorial war with the Navajo Nation. During this time period, members of the Ute tribe would actually capture Navajo women and children, and sometimes men, and sell them as slaves to European traders or other indigenous tribes. This caused the Navajo to place a Skinwalker curse on the land, forever damning the area now known as Skinwalker Ranch, the nearby Mesa, and other surrounding properties to be cursed forever. Skinwalker sightings in this area are extremely common. The Skinwalkers allegedly hang out around the Mesa, in the woods on the ranch, in the deep desert, and are known to be violent, territorial, and evil. And once again, a Skinwalker is almost a sort of shape-shifting witch in Navajo tradition. The one thing that you need to know about skinwalkers is that you don't want to meet one face to face. When we first arrived at the UFO Valley campground, where we were to investigate that night, which literally directly borders Skinwalker Ranch, we asked one of the property owners if she would speak about her experiences in the area on camera, but she refused. There's a secrecy to Skinwalker Ranch and the surrounding areas, and it seems like locals are afraid to even say the name of the cursed creature, the skinwalker, out loud. She did tell us, though, that members of the nearby indigenous tribe are forbidden to step foot out onto the mesa where we were headed after sundown. According to their legends and experiences, the mesa is home to hundreds of malevolent ghosts, shadow figures, that literally emerge from the rocks in nearby canyons at night, possibly to steal the souls of the living or stalk them at minimum. The local tribes consider it spiritually dangerous to be out in these areas at night. She also told us about the little people, spirits that supposedly also inhabit the Mesa area. It's said that you should never gaze upon the little people and that they may throw rocks at you or put you in a daze in an attempt to get you to leave their home. The stories of these spirits exist all across the world, but apparently the little people exist out there on that dry, dark, barren Mesa. In addition, our guide that evening, one of the property owners, told us that she refuses to be out on the Mesa at night and not for a practical reason, not because of the wildlife, the animals, or the territory, but because she fears whatever energy lies out there in the darkness in wait. She told us actually that she's never spent the night out there. She's never even been out in the area past sundown and will never head out there at night. Obviously, this was a little scary. Hearing all of these stories and learning that none of the locals in this area would even step foot in the area that we were headed to once the sun went down. But at this point, it was time to begin our terrifying adventure. And thus, we loaded up the all-terrain vehicle with our camera gear and paranormal investigation equipment and headed out onto the Mesa so that the property owner could drop us off and get out of the area before the darkness set in. Driving out to the circle was quite the experience. You could watch as the terrain changed, as the darkness grew. With every foot that we drove, we became more isolated, more distant from safety. And I couldn't help but look out into the distance and imagine what evils, what mysteries lie right within my field of vision. This was a scary place, and you could feel the dark energy immediately. So we're now alone out here. The property owner has left us. We're setting up all of our equipment. It's pretty crazy. Skinwalker Ranch is actually right over here, over this crest. The valley over here is Skinwalker Ranch property, and this is the UFO Ranch. But yeah, we're out here alone. Um, she's told us repeatedly that she does not come out here at night. And it's really crazy because we are literally way out in the middle of the desert in skinwalker infested land. And we have no cell service, no way to call for help. And it does feel like there's something out there. You know, the legend is like she was saying, a lot of indigenous people from this area, from the local tribes will not come out here at night. She won't come out here. And a lot of people say that it's because there are shadow people that live in the rock formations that emerge only at night and they hunt and, and you know attack people stalk people so yeah this is really eerie but we're just going to set up let the sun set and then get to it <laughs> shooting. 
Oh, a light just went off. I don't know what that was. I'm Ryan. Okay. So right now it is, I don't even know, nine o'clock. Yeah, I don't know. And we've got all of our gear set up. We're in the circle. Now over here, all right, what the hell? I'm, I'm messed up. Okay. Right over there, those are the cross rocks. So there are these mysterious crosses almost carved into the rocks. No one knows how they got there. And this whole part of the campground, the valley, is known as the circle. This circle supposedly acts like a portal. Now they studied this on the show Skinwalker Ranch. They actually saw, they saw petroglyphs that were supposedly depicting what this is right here. And this circle is, like we said, supposedly a portal that things can come through and come out of. Before we get started tonight, we give away a gift bag every single week to one lucky viewer of the show. This week, all you have to do to enter the competition is like the video and comment, skinwalkers are scary, okay? Comment that in the comment section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do that right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now, come check this out. So we didn't get this on camera, obviously, because the property owner didn't want to be featured. She's far away from here, like we said before, because she doesn't uh, come out here at night. This is a ritual or an offering to something. They don't know exactly what it is. It's been theorized that this may have been left here as a ritual to summon a skinwalker. If you see this, look at this, dude. This is an old ring with a skull. Obviously this was burned. There's powder in here and this bone. And they don't know who did that. They don't know who, you know, actually came in and performed that ritual. And then over here, actually, let's check this out too. Oh, look at that oh, one went off. Okay. The motion light over there just went off right when we walked over here. Creepy. Right, okay. Well, so right here is a bonfire pit. Now, it's interesting because the property owner said that this is relatively new, just like the ritual. They don't know who was out here. This is super remote. And they don't know what these people may have been doing up here. Is there something in here? Yeah. Someone just had a, a large fire around here and uh, it's just mystery. But this place is a obviously a hotbed of paranormal activity from UFO sightings, to demonic dogmen, skinwalkers, and the shadow people that supposedly are emerging from the rocks right now as we speak. If you see us swatting ourselves, there's a shitload of mosquitoes out here that we didn't anticipate, but we're here right now in the circle and we're gonna begin this investigation. Jeff, yes. how are you feeling? Uh, swatting mosquitoes. Wow, I mean, we you have to drive way out here in a four wheel drive vehicle. She dropped us off and yeah, we've got we're crazy. This is the first time anyone's been allowed YouTube here to ever film here in this circle. It's a, kind of a sacred area. And one thing you didn't mention is in this circle, the native tribes want you to walk in a counterclockwise and they don't want you to go up on the mount that's here, right? So we're gonna respect that. But yeah, I'm excited. We gotta get rolling, but there are a lot of mosquitoes, man. Seriously, okay, let's do this. All right, everybody. If you're here in this circle, my name is Colin. My name's Jeff. And we're coming here tonight. Oh shit. I can't even see where I'm going. We're coming here to speak with love in our hearts. And we just want to talk to whoever's here. And apparently one of the big parts of the Skinwalker legend is if you say the name Skinwalker or the word Skinwalker, they're drawn to that. And um, like I said, this is Skinwalker Valley. This is one of the highest concentrated areas of Skinwalker sightings on the planet. So if you don't want to listen to the audio, I would shut this off now. And to anyone in the valley, shadow people, tribesmen, or the Skinwalker. The Skinwalker. The Skinwalker. Follow the sound of our voice. 
We just want to talk. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go over here and ask start. questions. Okay. Is there anybody over here? Near the cross rocks? If you walk towards this ritual, this little fire area with the bone, we can see that you're here. Or if you walk over to the cross rock, we can also see that you're here. And that's how you can show us that, that you're here so we can talk to you. Are you here with us? How big is it? It goes around. We've come a long way up here. And as Colin said, we're we're just looking to make contact with you and again validate you exist. Full respect. But give us a sign. Would you make a noise with your voice or move something or play with one of our instruments in front of you here? You just have to touch the lights or walk this way. Did you hear that? Yeah. Huh? Was that you? Was it right? It was like rocks. Can you, can you do that again? We gotta be careful. Those packs of dogs kind of scare me a little bit. Okay. If that was you, can you do whatever you did again? Please come forward. Can you step closer to us, or are you not allowed in the circle? Oh, that's true. Maybe. You're allowed to come in. Okay, so the rem oh, oh, okay. motion light right when I'm over here. Okay. That's facing to the left. If you're coming in, gosh, I would just total blur, total blur. Okay, you can see the REM pod is still oh. on. Hasn't been going off. Can you turn that light on again for me? Are you gonna put that REM pod out where the noise? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this REM pod over here outside of the circle. Please come and, and make that light go on again. I've got all those lights. See, they don't hurt you. You can just Are touch them. Are you outside them. of the circle? Okay. That thing hasn't gone off for like okay, no. a long time. God's going. Shit, all the light, all the, all the, all the, uh... Dude, you put it outside the fence. I did. Let me see this. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, let's try, let's keep... This is where that noise came from? Yeah, we just heard okay. that noise. Let's do a spirit box and I'm gonna kill this camera. Maybe they can't come in this, you know? That thing's going f***ing crazy over there. Let it go. You want to reset it? Okay. Okay, if you want to come back and touch that light again, come and touch that light, please. Okay, 
right, we're gonna. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's coming, what dude! Is it? Oh, look it! Something's coming look from it. behind. Shh, it listen, now. listen to it. Holy shit! We're just starting, it's a dude. Strong signal. Oh dude. my gosh! Look at that. I wonder if that static over there picked up anything. Ah, oh, okay. I wonder if that static over there picked up anything. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, the, the paralyte just went off. Really? Yeah, the paralyte, the paralyte. Dude, something's coming Dude, over. It's walking through the circle. Oh man. my God. Anything. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Anything. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. And notice Dude. the ground pod behind us is completely silent. The paralyte flashed up. It's gonna be on camera. If that's Can you. you? Oh, 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 shut up. Oh. Look, look, look at the lights. The, look, the lights. look at all three of them. Dude, all three of them. No way. Look at, look at, look at, oh, no. look at. What? No, no. All three lights. Oh, my up. God, dude. Dude, look at this. Okay, so everybody that's watching, you have to understand we're back where our noise was. The, the music box is going just crazy. And those lights, all three of those motion lights oh went off. Now they're off. Oh, my God, man. They're off. Okay, whatever just okay. walked over here and the came into the circle. And the paralyte went off. That. Holy shit. What, are we, what should we do? Should we go back up here? I guess, yeah. Oh, my God. This is crazy, man. <laughs> that is insane. And you're gonna have it on the static too. How is that possible? Okay, and the light, the, the music box is pointed back out here, where we, into the circle. Like that's seriously like something just tried to sneak up on us from behind. That is creepy, man. Then all those motion lights went off over here. All those, look at all three at the look same at, time. You can when see it, that's incredible. And, and we're right we're over here. There's the REM pod. Look at how far away we are from them. They're paint. They're they're facing this way. That was fucking cool. This thing's crazy, man. Who are you? Dude, does this mean like they're just they're standing over there? Or, here, down here. Can you tell me who you are? Who are you? Okay, so this thing is still going off. I've got the Spirit Talker app. Oh, don't, don't, don't look! The red pod! The red pod! Okay. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Dude, dude, don't scare. You're scaring me, oh, man. They're surrounding us, man. Something okay. is literally. Look at this. Both of them, dude. Okay, yeah. Okay, what else? What else? How is that possible, oh, man? Dude, this thing is. Okay, if you're over there, you obviously can can touch that device. You've made it go off. Thank you. But can you come over closer to us? We've got some devices over by the rock with the cross, and you're welcome to come over and 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 commun communicate with us in that area. Maybe go a different direction, dude. So you've moved it, we can show that's a different direction. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put this rim pod. Watch. Change the battery. Didn't we just change the battery? Okay. Okay, so we've got a rem pod over there now. Okay, now I don't have this set up yet. Oh, what the oh, hell? oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, oh. you just changed the battery as well. Yes. Just to be sure. Okay, we're gonna leave it. Just leave it go for a while. We moved the REM pod and went off. We're gonna we're gonna start this. I, I'm gonna aim it out this way. Yeah. Okay. Dude, that is insane that that just started going again. Okay. It's zeroed out. It's gonna zero out. It takes about three seconds. One, two, three. There we go. Look. Okay. Oh, did you hear that? Look at that yeah. REM pod's going nuts. We reset some of the motion lights in a different location, zeroed out the REM pod over there, and got the music box set up in a different place. We're gonna try the Spirit Talker app. Okay, you ready? Yep. Any spirits that are here, Skinwalker, Dogman, 
any spirit. This is called a spirit talker. And you can actually talk into it. Use your energy and it will pull it into a word that means something to us. So if you would please push your energy into this device. Oh, there's that lightning back there. No. Okay, so you're invited to come and talk to us here. Let us know who you are. I'm sad. I'm sad. Oh, I'm sad. Okay. I'm sad. Oh, I just turned up. Did you hear that? What? Oh, up on a rock. Over there. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I'm sorry, we, we interrupt. You're sad. Who are you? Oh. The owl. Listen. Owl, dude. Give me a Woo hoo! Yeah, let's go, man. Do we grab everything? Yeah. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. You want me to carry this? Yeah. Hold on, let me try this one more time. be a skinwalker. Well, and a skinwalker can be any animal. Not just that, skinwalkers can mimic any animal. That's so weird that it started cooing right when we're leaving too, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? Scorpion? Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's a camel spider? Mm -hmm. Bro, fuck that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I hate camel spiders. Dude, it's coming from up here now. I feel a weird vibe from this rock right here. I just passed that and got like a weird sensation. Hello? Owl noise came from right there. That was a big ass stink bug. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, your battery's about to die. <sighs> the owl was like straight up following us. Just, what one. the hell, man? I heard that one. That was like from over here, bro. see glowing eyes last time or thought we saw glowing eyes? Thought so. Hmm. <laughs> so while we were packing up the owl has gotten closer, yeah? Yeah. 
what we think is an owl. We don't, we don't know 100%. We haven't even seen it. No. Well, I, so we don't know. We literally just heard it and it was right, right here. I mean, at first it was up there with us. Mm -hmm. And then it was like on this side of the mountain. Oh, oh, oh. Gone. That's trippy. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You. Go ahead. Okay, so we're leaving. I just looked this up and I found an article that goes into the history of skinwalkers and it says right here, it said that in, in addition to being able to shapeshift, the skinwalker is also able to control the creatures of the night such as wolves and owls and make them do its bidding. Dude, we, Owls. I think we, I literally think that we actually just got some proof of a skinwalker trying to stalk on us. That's pretty fucking crazy. Look at the dog. There's a moth right on the camera. Isn't that insane? That is That's crazy. incredible. Like, look at right here. Did we Wolves just capture some evidence? And it was like following us, dude. Like yeah. spying us. Yeah. Like, watching us leave. What's up with that pigeon too that we were talking about? Seriously. Mm -hmm. If it can manipulate an owl, then I'm sure it could manipulate any other type of bird. That's pretty crazy, dude. This is incredible. Really crazy. Well, that is, it even talks about them liking to hang around cliffs. It can jump over cliffs. Skinwalkers like to jump in front of cars, hoping to cause accidents. It kills out of greed, anger, spite, revenge. It also robs graves for personal wealth. First of all, the graves, and it said money. I don't even know if we were filming. You remember that? Yeah. Isn't that weird? So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty strange, dude. Wow. I think <laughs> we legitimate just got skinwalker evidence. That's crazy, man. And the, when you think about it, too, the owl only started making noise when we were leaving. Right. Yeah. Right when you went out there, right? Yeah. And I then, caught it on camera. And it literally followed us, like, around and was making that noise, like, close to us, but we couldn't see it. Yeah. I don't know, but it's weird that we're driving, too, and it likes to jump out in front of people, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess that's a wrap, unexplained, but yeah, I just don't feel good, you know? Past. Oh, past. Who are you from the past? Yeah. Okay. You're sad. You're from the past. You told us that you're sad. You're from the past. That would make sense. But who are you? Negative. Oh, who are you? Negative. Okay, so either like. What do you mean by negative? Crime. Oh god, what? Something, something moved. It just scared the shit on me. Crime. Something just shifted and it's just coming. Dude, I've never seen like crime on there. Crime. Okay, Pat. Wow. Negative you know? from a past crime. Yeah. I mean, what kind of crime are we talking about from the past? And again, if you're. Help me. Help, Help me. me. Were you killed here? We're in this area. How can we help you? I trust you. Okay, <sighs> great. Thank you. Oh, oh what was that? Big ass what flash that? of light yeah. over there. Did that, that's going to get caught hopefully on a, on the static as well. Yeah. That was what just a, was that? Oh, like a, just a flash. Yeah, it wasn't even like lightning. That was bizarre, It was just a man. huge flash. Okay, that could be like, you know, the <laughs> orb crap and stuff yeah. we talk about. Holy shit. 
about to get spooky here. Jason. Oh, okay, Jason. Jason. Ask for a name, right? Or uh -huh. a bean? Okay, should we? Okay, Jason, how were you killed or what were you killed with? And again, everybody, anybody that's here, you can still touch any of these devices. They're only to help us communicate with you. We totally respect you. We just want to validate you're here. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hey. Hey, how are you? To say hi back, can you light something up for us or give us a sign of something? You know, let us know what you're doing. We're here to talk to you. We got all these devices. Would you show up for us, please, and let us know you're here? In any way. I'm a friend. I'm a friend? Hey. Doesn't it seem like, like, I feel like, again, I'm being watched again, or mm -hmm. there's a lot of... Frank. Frank. Friends with Frank. <sighs> Jason Frank. Wow. Are you in the circle or outside of the circle? Is there more of you here? Don't provoke us. Oh, I've never really heard that. No. Have you ever heard that? No, don't provoke us. Oh, oh man. There goes that lightning right when that oh. happened. Well, we're really not trying to provoke you. And honestly, we're, we're really being respectful. We're here with these devices and camera just to show that you, you exist. That's all. We're, we're not trying to provoke you. I'd like to be your friend. And just, can you can you tell me about how old you are, Jason? So I know a little more about you. Four. Four! Dude. You just asked how old! Four. Four. Oh. What the hell? Okay. Okay, so Jason, wow, you're only four. That's, and you're sad, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, there's like a ton of mosquitoes out here. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So again, we're not here to provoke you. We've got some things to play with to show that you're here. And we, we're your friend. Just like you said, Frank was your friend. Do you like it here? I mean, well, no, choking. you're, you're oh, choking. choking. Dude, I asked how you died. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yep. So a lot of times you got to come back to what you ask. It takes a while. So I I almost saw a black figure. Oh, God. Down there, dude. Where? Down uh, where the static, are the, the camera's pointing at us. Oh, God. It looked like it passed in front of it. But. Equipment. <sighs> Yes. Yes. Can you Obviously. touch one of our devices? Yeah, we've got a ton of equipment, and you're you're allowed to go ahead and and play with them and touch them, anything you want. And I know that you know how because you set almost every device off already. All of our equipment. Was that you that did the devices, Jason? Do you want to make a pact like we're like friends? You know, what we're trying to do with any device really is trying to make sense for it, at least to try to see if we can get a dialogue going. Right now. Using my voice. Using my voice? Right here. Mm -hmm. You are. You are using your voice. Thank, that is exactly what we've asked you to use this device for. Thank you. So again, as I was saying, we don't know, you know, anything ever. Does it claim it's this or that? But we try to follow at least something that makes sense. And so far, we feel like, I feel it's Jason. He's a four-year-old. He's died here. Pain. From, pain. Oh, pain. He's died here from choking or being choked, right? Mm -hmm. And Frank is, be, uh, is a friend of his. So what... What is the pain? Oh, I'm not lightning again. What, what kind of pain? What, what's painful for you? 
because we're friends again, remember, and you can say it. Jason. Who's speaking? Who's speaking? Well, you're right. We have not introduced ourselves right now. No. Okay, so I'm Jeff. And I'm Colin. And this is my son, Colin. I'm going to let my son talk to you because kids really do like Colin a lot. He's very friendly, so I'm going to turn it over and let him kind of ask you some questions. Oh, 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 way, oh, oh way over there. Here he comes. Oh, right when you hand way it over, over there. Way over there. Okay. Keep coming. Come on. You can keep coming. Go. Girl. What? Girl. Okay. Okay. If it was a girl that just came through. How did you end up here? Oh, that's like, I don't know what that is. How did you end up here? Oh, dude, did you hear this? Over here, over to your right. There's some movement. I swear I'm seeing things. Okay. Well, Angel. Angel. I can't. Okay, a girl angel. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right when you, oh, did you see it? Yeah. The, the light. Can you, are you following us? Can you do that again? Wow, those dogs are going crazy. Okay, will you go ahead and keep, continue going? Those dogs are coming from Skinwalker Ranch. Oh my God. You're right, you're right. Okay. Okay. So. We're gonna leave these toys to you. Go ahead and touch that again, if you will. I kinda wanna do a spirit box. Okay. okay. Thank you for talking yes. to us through this yeah. device. But we're gonna try one more. Oh, the light, the light. What? Oh! Okay. Right when we moved the, the REM pod. Oh, shit, dude. So, we just set this REM pod up. This is the one that's been sitting silent for like 30 minutes. The moment we brought it over here, it starts going crazy. Okay, on, on, the, on this fire that's new. Uh -huh. This, within this circle here. You reset it again. Okay. Look at that, man. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, now what? Oh, oh, oh shit. The, the, the. Okay, someone's over here and they want to talk, I guess. Okay. So. Okay, this is where I heard the another, remember? Okay, Colin, remember when I heard the sound over there? Mm hmm And then you put the REM pot over there and the thing went crazy. Oh. And then I heard it over here. Uh-huh. And you, we put the REM pot and now it's, oh. Okay, let's talk to it. Okay. I'm gonna start a spirit box session. Can you box. step away from that? Oh, look at they did. Oh, when you said that. They did. Okay. Thank you. So, you can use this to talk to us. If you're a skinwalker, a shadow person, or if you're someone else who just died, just speak to us. It's so bit up here. What's your name? What the? No, no, dude. Yo, what? Something was just thrown right here, dude. What the f I feel like something just ran up on me, dude. Look at it's blur. It's blur. Where though? I mean, what? Like right in front of me, dude. It was like, I didn't like that. Didn't like hear wow. Anything, man. And the ca there we go. The camera's back. Okay. Oh, and you feel that cold breeze, dude. Oh, it's definitely cooler. Wow. Is that that? So to explain what happened, it sounded like something ran up. Okay, if that was you, maybe if you're a skinwalker. Okay, it's now, gonna be harder don't, to scare me than that. Don't back up so fast. Did you die here? Okay, there was just a flashing. There's a light. Oh, it just must be a flash. I just saw a flashing light behind you. Okay, can we talk just a second again about the REM pod? 
right? Yeah, weird. Going, going nuts, it's just completely quiet. When I asked it to step away. It is weird. I mean, really. Is this place dangerous? Do you hurt people? What was that? I have no idea. What? What'd you hear? I don't know. A flash of light. Okay, well I'm I'm facing the opposite way, bud. Are you the one that's making us see these lights? What was this circle? Something. Can you please tell me what this circle is? We're watching. We're watching. Did you hear that? Yep. Colin, did Col you hear that? Yes. Colin. Are you not allowed to enter the circle? The circle. Oh, the circle. The circle. What is the circle? It's a oh, vortex. Vortex. Wow, you gotta play that back. A vortex. Does this connect two worlds? Ah. Are there skinwalkers around here? What was that? I don't know. Did it say like, help it me? Like, I thought it said, help me. So is that a yes, that there are skinwalkers here? Oh. Oh, something else. Oh, dude. Oh, I got chills. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have to hear those better. Um, what can you tell us about yourself? Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh, a what? flash of light here. What was that? I think, I don't know if I got it or not. A whole flash, like, what was that? I don't, where, where is our stuff at? Right over there. That's right where it was. Like, just right, like a flash. That's what I saw before, remember? Just a, a flash. Are you causing things to flash around here? Oh, that was really, that was freaky. Is this place dangerous to be at in the dark? Go back. Oh, go back. Oh, yeah. So you're saying yes, it is dangerous? You're going to have to pick some of this stuff up on the headphones. Play. Uh, play or? So yes, it is dangerous to be here at night? Jeez. God, I didn't realize that we walked in a circle. What? I didn't even realize that we walked in a circle. Okay. Thank, thank you for talking to us. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ah, wow. That was cool. Okay. Um. Is there anybody here? Okay, so I'm gonna explain again a new toy here. It doesn't hurt you. It allows us to see you in a, in a different form. So if you could show yourself, use your energy, and appear on our screen, that would be awesome. Can you use your voice to talk to us? What the f***? No, 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 dude, dude. Holy f***. What the f*** was that? Okay, hold on. Hold on here. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Get the flashlight, man.
like it came from outside of the circle again. Can you show yourself, please? Jeez, I bet. My heart's kind of like pumping here. I know. That was like a thump. That was a really loud thump. Can you, can you, um... I mean, if somebody did this circle here, and that, that, that ritual in the last month, you know, how the hell do they get up here? You know what I mean? Right. Like, and it's, what night is this? Saturday. Saturday night. I just always worry about people being out here. But how do they, they don't, how can they get out here? You wouldn't. You can't. If there's somebody here, what you hear? Right there. Can you come stand by me? Oh. What? What the fuck, what? man? What? I just saw a fucking something shoot out of the sky. Out of oh, the dude, hold on. Hold on, don't move. What? Go, go, go. There. Come here, quick, around me. There's one on the ground. Come, keep coming. There's one on the, there's one in the, where I said the bush. Look, that's the bush. Right here. Oh, yeah. That's where I heard the, the, the sound. I asked him. Okay. Oh, my God. If that's you, that threw anything. Oh, okay. Oh, it's coming out of the okay. bush. You're free to come out. We're friendly. Oh, did you see that huge orb go by? That black orb mm -hmm. too? Can you come out of the bush? Look at this, he's laying on the ground. It's a, where he was conjured right there. What are you? Can you speak with us and tell us what you are? Oh, look, oh. Move it moved, it moved over. Yeah. Look at it, it's crawling. Oh my God. Oh. oh, it's crawling. Are you a skinwalker? Oh my God. Oh, Look dude. at the thing came out of the bush. What oh. the hell? Oh, it's like on all fours, dude. Oh. oh, oh. If you are, if you're trying to communicate with us, come out of the bush. Oh, 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 oh it just came out it's and like ran at right us. Right through, through us here. Oh my, that is where the noise came from? That is freaking insane. That was a really eerie figure, that too. That was really cool, It man. looked like he was on all fours, Thank you know? Thank you so much for showing up. That's what we asked you to do. And I'd love if you did it again. We're, we're just, we've just been in the circle this whole time. This is all unexplored. All this huge mm -hmm. basin, man. Oh, my light just went off. What? It just turned off. That's what it, it just turned <laughs> off. Literally just went off. You have to actually click the... Oh, it's all weird. what the hell? Oh, it's dead, dude. No, no, it's not. What? It just went off as I was showing your see it. Dude, something doesn't want us to see it out there. Okay, let's come out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so I was trying to explain. Um, this is all just so huge. We're going to come out and see if somebody will come forward and show themselves on here again. Where, where do you want to go? Um, let's just walk. I'm gonna turn this around. Okay. okay, does it look like I'm on? Yep. Okay. Um, I mean, let's go like right over there. I just think oh, that flesh. I'm let's go right here. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Okay, we've we've come back. We're down again in a totally different area. And again, if you're a skinwalker, a dogman, or just a spirit of any kind, please come forward and show yourself. This is a this is the device that allows you to use your energy. I can't even talk. <laughs> and it will form kind of a picture that lets us know you're here. So please. Please come out and show us you're here. There it is. Hold on, over here. I heard it. 
hurt another like a rock. Oh God, here, I, I'm, I'm thinking right, right in this area here. Okay, I'm gonna stay on this. Can you come and show yourself to us? It is creepy out here, man. We're straight up just alone in the middle of the desert. If there's anybody in that canyon, come over here. Are there any skinwalkers here? God, I'd love to see some upright, upright walkers. Me too. Or shadow people? What? what is that? What? There's a light in front of me. Where? God, like a lightning bug. Right out here. I haven't seen a single firefly. That was weird, man. Please show yourself. With all due respect, all we're trying to do is show you're here. <laughs> right, right in where, front where, of us. Where? where? Thump, thump or footstep. Okay. And uh, you know what? This is that bush then. The same thing yeah. that happened back there. You're right, oh, man. What? There's another another uh, one. A thump? Yes. <laughs> okay. This is exactly what happened over there. Okay, if you made that noise, it seems like you're in this little area right here that I'm pointing on. You can see my light. Can you come out and show yourself like you did over there? Oh, there was just a little, a little flash. Oh, I was about to say, I saw that with my eyes. Can you please come out? Wow, you can really see a lot of stars too. Dude, you know what I think you should do? What? I think to interact, I think you should go over by that in front of it. Bring your flashlight. Okay. Colin's gonna come right there, right there, right there, bud. What's in front of you? Is there, or is it behind you? What? Yeah, stay there. Hold on, oh, oh. A big black, like a whole black figure just went across to you. Oh, of course we're not filming, god damn it. Can you walk over to me? Dude, get over, get over quick. What? Come over, come over quick. What? Yeah, quick, film it. Look at, look at, look at, oh. look at. Oh my God, it came out of the bush again. Oh, there it oh. is. Oh, look at oh. that thing, dude. Oh my God. Oh, it's on all oh. fours, crawling around. Oh, look at that shit. Dude, it's... it made it made this sound like it did over there, and the same thing. Uh huh. Are you a skinwalker? If you could go back in the bush, can you go back in the bush if you're a skinwalker? Go in. That's where you came out of. Go back in, please. Show me you can go back into the bush. Dude, God. dude, oh my God! There's another, there's another thump. Where? Uh, in front? Oh, I don't know. Dude, look at the, he's in the bush. Okay. Oh, what do we want to do? It's huge, oh, man. Oh my God! Oh, look at this thing growing. Oh, coming, it's, it's right coming at in us. Front of. It's right here. Oh, 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 look at the black. Did you oh, see it? Look at, look at, oh, look at, look at. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what dude, the hell is that? Dude. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what the. F <laughs> the that way was, your voice just <sighs> echoed. Doo! That was f insane. Mm -hmm. That was a whole, just like over there. Yep. That that thump. Yep. And then again, a bush. They, they're in bushes. That's yep. what my thoughts are now. Yep. And then it freaking like materialized, I think, like into a shadow. Literally. A black uh, something. Were you on it? or? Yeah. Oh my God, that was cool. I mean, where do you want to go? Um... Let's go, let's go farther towards the canyon a little bit. Okay, and it's one of those things where it's gonna be like, you know, you have to be really careful with where you're going. Oh, oh what the fuck was that? You... Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. God, man, what, what is fuck? happening? What's going on? Something's like just Dude. surrounded Dude, us up here, man. The black and stuff. Oh. I, I... Dude, Dude, I, I, I wish my, she was my, coming. My I'm like, is... I'm really on edge Dude, right now. If you. You had my pulse, man. Holy shit. What was that noise, though? Okay. Once again, it's right here. 
Mm -hmm. it's, it's in here. Look at... Uh, oh, is that a f***ing bug? What is that? Are we going to go over there? Sure. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Where are we? I can't see where we're at. What's in front of us? Because we don't want to go too far. Bushes. Okay, so... So what's been happening is there's been noises. And use, and look at all this shit. These bushes. It's like... They're, my feeling is, is this is where these people live. Mm -hmm. You know? And Colin's got to go over there. And... I think we're going to go. Oh, Jesus. What the? No, that was a. That's all. Jesus, man. What? What the was that? It sounded like something running at us, dude, from that same place. Do you have a flashlight? Can you please turn it on? I'm kind of anxious. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, look at it. There it is. There it is. Right here. It's in the bush. Did you get it? Yes. Did you get it? Okay. That's what I'm talking about, man. Dude. This is confirmed. And active. Can you turn the flashlight on, though? I want to make sure it's not something out here. Look at it. What the? Dude, they're in these bushes, man. That is what's happening. Maybe they're the little people, dude. Oh, I don't... Oh. You know? What the hell? Okay, but... Okay. We got to go back. Oh, shit. We got to be careful, dude. They might be drawing us to the edge here. Look at this. Oh. Holy In the pitch shit. black. Dude. I was having you walk over there. Yeah, in the oh darkness without a flashlight. What the... Wait. Let's actually come over here and show dude. that. Turn that light on. Oh, my light just went off again. What the... Look at it. it went off again. <sighs> right when I start at, walking over to the cliff, it okay, goes off. Look at this, though, guys. I was going to have you walk over here, right here. Yep. Right here. Look at these bushes. Right here. And then look at the drop off is right here. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. It like you wanted it? to push me over. Holy That's shit. all the way down the canyon, man. That's spooky, man. Oh my god. It really god, was dude. trying to draw us over that here. Is... I'm fucking kind of speechless. Me too. I mean, we've had sounds. <gasps> what is that? That's... Okay, dude, we're gonna do this. What? Okay. What is that? Okay. Is that bats? I have no idea. Yeah. If you're here. Can you? Oh, there's just black shit coming through the screen. Come right hold my hand. Are you really here? Prove it and show up one more time. Come out of the bush. Come from the canyon. All right, everybody, so we've had a lot of intelligent contact tonight. I keep seeing stuff in the sky. It's really weird, actually. But we only have 15 minutes left here before the property owner is going to be back to pick us up. It's already been two and a half hours. So we're going to do an EVP session and then pack all of our stuff up. And uh, yeah, we'll be back here for sure. This is so interesting. Hello, my name's Colin. I'm Jeff. Can you tell us your name? Weird. God, it's like they know something's on here. What? That doesn't sound like a dog. Some of it didn't, man. You know what it sounds like to me? Like a seal. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay. We're gonna wrap this up later, but for now, I am getting so, yeah. I've, we've, yeah. I probably have at least 100 to yeah. 200 it's, mosquito it's, it's bites. Insane. So we're gonna pack our stuff up so we're ready when the owner gets back. Okay. But um, we'll wrap it up later and yeah, cool night. So, so I mean, for me real quick, the, the main thing that you're gonna go back is the freaking noises 
and then an actual bush that the noise seems like it comes from. Did we get three? I think so. And we could have had four. That's where they're at, I feel like here. They're like, they live in these bushes. Okay, I gotta go, okay, man, really. Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> Oh shit, the, the REM pod. Oh! Yes, we are leaving. I came up to get the equipment, the REM pod's going off. We are leaving. Oh shit, the light just came on. Oh shit, light just went off. Okay, we are leaving. Thank you for showing yourself. Oh my gosh, green, yellow, red. Do you want to give me one big burst before we go? And I wish you peace. And I, and I hope you're resting peacefully. But we do have to go. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've got to actually, I've got to end this. At the end of the day, Skinwalker Valley is one of the scariest places that I've ever visited. But not because there was a ton of activity, more because the stories, they're alive there in that area. You can imagine the shadow people emerging from the rocks. You can almost see the skinwalkers slowly crawling through the bushes. And you can hear the distant screams of souls that passed, damned to forever haunt this cursed valley. We were so close to the real Skinwalker Ranch, yet so far. Hopefully, in the near future, I'll be able to pay Skinwalker Ranch itself a visit. But for now, it's Colin Brown. I will see you next week with our Penhurst episode with Exploring with Josh and Seth Borden. And as always, we love y'all and stay spooky. Hello! <laughs>